I, but God. But I, but I, but I, there's no soundness in my flesh because of your indignation. There's no health in my bones because of my sin. All my iniquities have gone over my head like a heavy burden there. Far too heavy for me. My wounds stink and fester because of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and, and prostrate. All the day long I go about mourning, for my sides are filled with burning, and there's no soundness in my flesh. I'm feeble and crushed. I groan because of the tumult in my heart. Oh, Lord, all my longing is before you. My sighing has not been hidden from you. My heart throbs, and the light in my eyes is also gone from me. But I, but I, but I, why are you so downcast, oh my soul? Why are you in turmoil within me? Put your trust in God. Put your hope in God. Have mercy on me, oh God. According to your steadfast love and according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. But God, prophesy to these bones and say to them, dry bones, Thus says the Lord your God, I will cause breath to enter you, and you will come to life. And I will lay sinews upon you, and cause flesh to come upon you, and cause skin to cover them, and put breath into you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I was prophesying, there was a sound and, and a rattling, and behold, the bones came together bone to bone, and sinews came upon them. And flesh came upon them, and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. And then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, son of man, prophesy and say to the breath, come from the four winds and breathe on these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and breath came into them, and they lived, and they stood an exceedingly great army. And they shall know that he is the Lord, our God, who is pierced for our transgressions, who is crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and by his wounds we are healed. All we like sheep had gone astray. Each and every one of us had turned to our own way, but God laid upon him the iniquity of us all, that he so loved that he sent his only son, that whoever would believe in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but rather that it would be saved through him. So, what shall we say then? But I, no more. But God. And what shall we say then? In all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of our God in Christ Jesus our Lord. But God.